everybody, this is Hector with InYourPools.com and today we're actually going to be changing a motor on a waterway SMF uh, pool pump. Uh, essentially we have to remove the, uh, the bolts here, you can kind of see them back there. Um, removing the motor and seal plate from the rest of the housing. Disconnect the uh, wiring from that conduit back side of the motor and just to yeah, reassemble the motor and get that thing remounted up to the housing. First step as always, when working on electrical, just in general, pool pump equipment. Make sure, breaker, off for the pool pump. So we'll get this uh, process started. Sort of straightening out these wires here. It's a little easier to uh, remove from the uh, motor when I pull this wiring out. Okay, so now that we have the uh, Waterway SMF uh, motor and uh, some of the pump parts assembly um, here on the workbench, we're going to go ahead and remove the motor from the essentially the seal plate to this remove the diffuser remove the impeller which is under the diffuser and so we can get the uh, motor prepared for the uh, the new motor and we're also going to go ahead and swap out the seal plate and the impeller it looks like the pump had uh, went through a little bit of I guess you can say warpage due to high temperatures the pump more than likely was running dry for some time and caused some warpage on the plastic parts there so we're going to swap those out as well. There are two Allen wrench screws on the actual diffuser. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And this Waterway SMF pump is very similar to the Pentair Whisper Flow series. There's a O-ring here as well. We'll make sure that's lubricated. It doesn't look to be stretched out. It looks to be in fair condition. We'll lube that up when we reassemble everything. Here's your impeller. With this impeller, you want to make sure and have the shaft at the back end of the, there's a metal shaft that runs through the motor, connects to the impeller. So we have to hold it steady in the back of the motor in order to unthread the impeller. It makes it easier to remove or to uh, slightly loosen the capacitor create some extra room, some space. Uses a 7 16 wrench here. If I spin the impeller, you can see the shaft moving and it's squared off on the back of the shaft to be able to get a good grip on it with the wrench. So now it's pretty steady. wrench there nice and snug. This one came loose pretty easily. There we go. In this particular model, part of the seal sits inside this impeller groove here. Here's the new one. So when we put the new seal on this half, the white ceramic half of the seal will sit inside this impeller. And the other half of the seal can see it sitting inside this plate. So now we want to remove this plate. Four bolts on the corners of the motor face. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out this seal to the metal brim there. This shiny black ceramic portion of the seal 
compressed against the white portion of this seal is what creates the seal itself, keeping water on this side of the pump versus getting behind it, getting to the face of the motor. You wanna prevent that. Screwdriver, pop that out here. Probably some, be some silicone there from prior. Let's see how easy this comes out. Hopefully not too bad. Right, nice and easy. Since, this, we're, since we are replacing this plate, we're done with this. We'll be using the new one and it's nice and clean. We'll still wipe it down, get that those new seals in there or that new seal two part and start reassembling. Okay, so now we have gotten the seal plates prepared for the motor itself. This is a this is the seal plate. As you can see, the shaft seal has been installed. Uh, we have another video for replacing a pool motor on a Pentair Whisper Flow, which is nearly identical to this Waterway SMF pool pump series. But essentially, just to kind of rewind, because I didn't actually show you, for this shaft seal, what we did was we used some clear RTV silicone and we essentially, this is a, the older seal, we essentially put a small bead of silicone around the metal casing here and then popped it, pushed it into the seal plate where, where it belongs. We also, we also used a small PVC, PVC. I believe this is a, the one inch, if it's perfectly, to not touch the uh, center portion of the seal and just get the uh, metal casing here. So you can lightly beat that into place into that seal plate to create that seal with that silicone. And again, changing a motor on a Pentair Whisper Flow or replacing Pentair Whisper Flow motor is the guide that we've already created, which actually shows you that um, pretty straightforward. So now that we have that seal plate prepared, we're gonna go ahead and mount it up to the motor face. Now we can get the impeller prepared, get the second half of the seal installed there. This one, this, this uh, waterway SMF series Pool pump uses a thousand shaft seal, PS1000. Always do your best not to touch that white ceramic. Dirty it or wet it, always try your best not to. Nice and smooth in there. Now that's prepared. We're gonna hold the uh, back of the shaft here steady on the back end of the motor. This one is going to use a 7 16 wrench. Nice and hand snug. This is the face plate gasket. Sits inside of a groove here on this plate. Basically, this corner is just being a little stubborn, and this is a brand new gasket. Sometimes you got to kind of slide the gasket into the groove a little bit better to create just those millimeters, if most, at most, worth of extra space to be able to put the gasket into its groove. This one's being a little stubborn, so that's why it's taking a little extra time. All right, so we got the uh, seal plate gasket in there okay now, lubricated, ready for installation on the rest of the pump housing so it'll seal okay. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, uh, motor and plate assembly um, mounted onto the uh, base here. And these, these two uh, screws, which in this case are going to use again, uh, 3 8 socket. We'll get the diffuser placed back on there, two screws, make sure that diffuser organ is lubricated as well, and then it'll be ready to be uh, reinstalled on the rest of the pump housing on site. Okay, see they'll sit right into those grooves right down here.
and that motor is uh, prepped, we'll go ahead and uh, get that thing installed here shortly. So we are now back on site for the uh, Waterway SMF uh, series pool pump motor replacement. We just finished getting the wiring set up here. This is a uh, straightforward 230 volt. This particular motor model is not dual voltage, so it only comes as 230. Uh, sometimes when the motors are higher horsepower, they will only come as 230 volt. This is an example of that. So when this is the case, you don't have any way of changing the voltage by a switch on the back end of the motor. Typically it's back here somewhere. So it's pretty straightforward. Red being a power, black being a power, green being your ground. Both of these terminals, these screws are here. Both um, need to carry, receive 110 to 120 volt, which each one of those lead lines are carrying those power lines, are carrying 110 to 120. So that's wired up. We'll get this motor cap back on the back there. We're gonna go ahead and start bolting up this motor assembly with the mounting plate, seal plate, impeller diffuser up to the rest of the pump housing. We cleaned up the surface over there where the bolts, the bolts will go into the housing. Make sure and cleaned up that area well, so it's a good seal. If you remember where we set that gasket in and lubricated that gasket, that's where it's gonna seal up against that housing once everything's bolted, bolted in. So we're gonna get that bolted up and um, power up the uh, motor, get this pump primed. Prime it up, make sure everything's sealed okay. Tighten up this cap in the back end of the motor. And other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also, you can join our Facebook group, Pool People by Inyo Pools, where a lot of homeowners go on there, share their experiences, troubleshooting, questions. Other techs will go on there as well sometimes and help out as best as possible. Again, thank you very much and uh, take care.